Hi Gemini, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your December read from 22 to 31 of December, the last week of this month. And after then, we're going to start with 2023 New Year's. We're going to see what else is coming in. This is going to be, as usual, a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more accurate readings, I'm available for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. You can also reach out for white prayer based spells and intention charged crystals currently we are selling out rose quartz supercharged with love and building relationships and harmony amongst the people that you know <clears throat> and attract love so and also we have introduced a 100k giveaway for all my beautiful viewers and to participate, do not forget to follow my Instagram and read the instructions. And I have also posted free of cost December short horoscopes that really resonate for so many people. So don't miss that out and subscribe. Okay, for more stuff coming up in the near future, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I have my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mercury in Scorpio channel. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, then also do not forget to subscribe to my Scorpio channel. I have made sure that it... Uh, uh, is able to resonate with maximum people out there and yeah i have my hindi channel as well if you know hindi do not forget to subscribe there as well <clears throat> all the details are given in the description box below gemini what is coming what is coming for you gemini Ooh. you're very out there i feel like gemini you're you're extremely in extrovert right now. You're like, oh my gosh, I have so many options. I have so much to do. And like, where should I start? It's like you're being overwhelmed with so many options. The universe is pouring to you. And you might be like confused. Like, whom should I choose? What should I do? Like, maybe you have options in selecting a house, car, or maybe you want to buy something. Or you have options in love. Or you have options in career. So it's like... <clears throat> You've been loaded with abundance and that is also somewhere overwhelming you because you don't know what to start with. Okay, right now. So that is what is coming. I'm seeing you have love coming in. You may have to choose. Okay. That might be a difficult task for you. Gemini, I feel the queen of wands is your energy. Even if you're a male watching this, you're in this energy of I am the best. I am the most attractive. I look the best and I get anything that I want in the world. So you're in this energy of, <clears throat> you know, uh, abundance. You believe in yourself. And I'm also seeing that you're changing your appearance. You might be doing uh, a little makeovers on yourself. And you might be wearing some bright clothes. You're attracting a lot of people. Okay, suitors towards you. You're catching everybody's attention. Because you are in yourself. And you're full in, you know, full within yourself. You're understanding that. It's like you are at your best. Okay, there's nothing that is distracting you. Or pulling you away from your dreams. From your manifestations. And that is why you feel like. You feel very confident. You feel like you're, you're a king or a queen of your castle. You do anything you want. There's no one that's stopping you. Even at your job, whatever your verdict is, it's taken seriously. Whatever you speak, whatever you say, whatever you suggest, it is taken seriously. Okay? It's something about your voice as well that attracts a lot of people or something about your looks like your figure or your appearance, your clothing, your dressing sense. So it's like overall, you're like a complete package to a lot of people. That is why you're gaining a lot of attention. <clears throat> Three of Cups, as I was telling you, because of this reason, you will attract a lot of suitors as well as a lot of, you will make a lot of friends. You might also go out party. You may celebrate because it's the end of the month. Everybody's going out. Everybody's celebrating. And I am seeing you meeting new people and uh, you might also meet someone that is on the same page as you are. You feel free and happy. There's nothing that stops you. You're dancing with life. You, you might also join a dance, um, you know, group and you may, <clears throat> you know, give out performances. Um, it's like you're, you're happy out there and people are looking up to you and actually applauding you getting inspired okay you don't have time where you're sitting and complaining or blaming about things 
you're out there and you're showing your you know your talents to the people so we're here i'm also seeing that gemini you have love coming in you have options coming in where they want to get closer to you and get to know who you are where you come from what is your work what do you do what is your ambition so a lot of people will try and get to your zone get in your private space to know about you to get closer to you so a lot of attention may overwhelm you gemini so this is something that i'm seeing you're in a limelight i'm seeing that very strongly gemini um I'm sensing you're choosing friends out of your intuition, like whatever you feel like, okay, I feel guided towards this person or I don't feel guided towards this person, then you won't take a step forward. When you feel you want to move towards someone, it's your intuition that you're talking to. So your intuition is actually talking to you a lot. And we have seven of swords. Someone is secretly watching you. It could be a friend of yours that is secretly hiding the fact that they're in love with you. Or there's someone from the past that you've cut cards with and is secretly watching you and wondering what's going on with your in, in your life with you. So yeah, someone is not on the same page as you do, and they're going through some dark like uh, phase of their life, and this person is going through a lot. I feel this is someone from the past. This was your friend. Uh, that is not going through a good time because you're not there. But I'm definitely seeing this person is watching you, dating someone new or talking to someone new. They have all the information about you. But who cares? What I'm seeing here, Gemini, is that you're ready to embrace new love. You're ready to just embark on this uh, into the unknown, the unpredictable, because you believe that whatever you're attracting is something that's genuine, is something that's coming from a true source, okay? And you will be acknowledging feelings of someone towards you i'm seeing there is love coming in i'm seeing you're about to meet someone i'm seeing you have met someone that is going to ask you out in this end of this month and you'll be like why not sure let's go out and talk and you guys will share you know a strong intimacy with each other there's like feelings are exchanging and you guys are like uh, under the sunset it's a beautiful you know, a uh, feeling of you guys is only you guys, both the eyes meet and there's no one around. You feel like there's no one around. It's, it's something that you might get committed in this week. You might get committed. You might say yes to someone. That's what I'm seeing here. Very strongly. Gemini. All right. Someone is feeling heartbroken for sure. Okay. And is confused. Someone is feeling definitely heartbroken because you've ended a situation with a person that was pretty immature in commitment and always kept you confused and not ready to commit or was not sure about, about what they wanted. So you have put an end to someone like that. Maybe this person was younger than you or immature than you. I feel like the one that you've put an end to in the recent time has been like contemplating um, what happened this person is still in the same zone but this person is not happy with the fact that you moved on they're hurting they want to reach out to you but they're too afraid they're scared at how they will be seen or how this will be um you know portrayed to you so i am definitely seeing that you're no more looking in the past okay you're moving on you know what you want and you're cutting cards okay but someone from the past is not ready to leave you alone okay and is right now, if you guys have mutual friends, they might be asking people about you, what's going on with you, because they can't see what's going on with you. Maybe you blocked them or it's just they are not able to, you know, um, see you. OK, so this person is extremely, you know, aggressive over other people because you're not there in their life and this person is getting offended about little things and they might also be if you're hearing rumors against you it is your ex spreading it for some of you okay however just because it doesn't affect you anymore what this person does or says it is making this person more and more defensive and angry and aggressive and violent even 
depends what type of personality you dated in the past but this person is definitely not sleeping well and just hurting a lot and is in this mental conflict of why what this that they are in this energy of blaming and complaining rather than moving on whereas you have actually accepted things the way it is i feel someone is extremely jealous of you dating someone if you're already dating someone then this this ex of yours is going crazy and nuts of you being with someone else this could have been a scorpio but i feel like you've ended the situation and this person is like no oh, don't cut the cord i want to rejoin it this person is not allowing you to release them <clears throat> this person is not releasing you whereas they still hope that things can get better that you will definitely come back but the fact that you might be dating someone else or you will date someone new is going to get so into their nerves that they might do something that is against your wish okay that you might not like so that's what i'm seeing here oh you're actually ending a situation with the scorpio with whoever it was in the past you're actually ending it completely you don't want to deal with that this person at all <clears throat> you know you're done with it you want to put them in no contact but they're secretly watching you and overtly thinking about this connection however you when they reach out or when they realize when they open their eyes they'll see you married they'll see you with someone else so what i'm seeing what you don't see coming is marriage or a true deep commitment that is coming for you so get ready guys this is something that you must be focusing all your energy into because if you're in this age of marriage if you're looking for marriage if you're looking or if you're looking for a long term commitment it is coming <clears throat> your person is someone that wants to live with you that wants to have kids with you that wants to build with you and they have a big house so you guys together are going to make a lot of money how uh and then may shift to a big house or something on those lines but i'm definitely seeing a rich person you both are equally successful or will <clears throat> be soon i'm seeing this happening the marriage thing happening by october 2023 or at max 2024 that depends upon who uh is watching this what is your age it depends upon that but i'm definitely seeing marriage is coming but someone from the past is extremely jealous of you moving on I feel this person is trying their best to bring you back in their life but they keep on facing these challenges in a form of you don't want to accept them anymore and this makes them even more angry and violent is also something that I'm hearing. This person is not pleasant at all. The one that you left behind they still want you but this person doesn't come from a loving <clears throat> source. They don't have light in them. So you have someone coming in that is your soulmate this is the one that you will be marrying i feel a strong intimacy between you guys but then i'm again getting this energy of your ex being extremely jealous of you married to this person or getting married to this person this is exactly what is going to happen gemini i'm seeing this from real long time it depends from person to person sometimes you manifest it faster sometimes you manifest it slower but it's going to happen okay i'm seeing this dating period starting i'm seeing you guys are going to get deeply involved into each other's eyes i'm seeing there's a strong intimacy i'm seeing you both are equally successful and growing in your life i'm seeing you releasing the past behind no matter what they do what they uh, <clears throat> how much they try to bring you back <clears throat> once it's over for you it's over <clears throat> and you're ready for this new beginning you want harmony you want peace you want family you want a beautiful setup you you don't want to deal with infidelity which your past person still has and you know this thing and you have found you will see in the coming time that you've found the one that's bring that's bringing in that stability that you're longing for since everybody longs for that only the genuine pe people so you're genuine right you're you're watching the stereo because you want someone that's genuine like you you're not looking for like one night so just you know <clears throat> being with someone at one time and then being with someone else you're not that okay so that is why you're watching these readings and that is why it's taking time for you to manifest as well because you're looking for someone that's coming from a genuine source source of love source of harmony source of family source of peace commitment <clears throat> that is why it takes time it is not a one day job 
it doesn't happen overnight it takes time you have to meet certain fishes to ultimately land to the person that you're meant to marry that you feel that you can resonate with them on a genuine level so that is the person that's going to come into your life if not now they will be coming in the nearest future but you must get prepared for for that because i am seeing there's these three cards are clearly confirming plus the two of cups that there's a major commitment that's coming in and that major commitment means marriage and I truly truly believe in it and then the courtship is like you guys are going to date a lot you guys are going to have a strong intimacy and then you guys are going to build a future together you guys may even add up your money to expand your buy a grand house and live there with your kids and this is this ending up into a happy family <clears throat> right life should be as easy as that and as simple as that we are the ones that complicate it with so many complaints with so many you know, uh, hatred and with so much of more, you know, that's negative. <clears throat> or sticking to the past, still living in the past. These are the things that create toxic uh, situations more to come in, in future. So any channel message, I bury myself in work to forget you. It's, I think it's you, Gemini. You have gone through a lot and I feel you've come out of it very hard. But now you're not ready to go back because you try to distract yourself from this person by burying yourself in work and now you don't want to go back and, you know, <clears throat> face all of that once again. So it's like a big challenge for you if you go back. You're clear about that. See, you're freeing yourself from any kind of negativity or relationships that drain you to the core. You're, you're no more caged. There's no one that's looking to you, looking at you. There's no more that's protecting you. There's no more that's possessing you. You're free. Okay? You're going to meet someone on the similar level as you are, on the same page as you are. This person will always set you free. New beginning, see? You have a very clear energy, Gemini. That is why I'm getting very clear cards in, in your reading. Because you're right now very clear. You might have uh, cleansed yourself from the negative aura from the negative energies and that is why you know clearly what you want and you're very assertive about it you have new beginning in your life coming in and the universe wants to tell you that embrace it enjoy it like it's a new adventure don't become skeptical or too guarded about things just live freely flowingly don't like right i always suggest you whenever there's someone new coming in don't get into tarot cards don't don't try to you know until unless you're hearing something motivational it's fine but if you want to figure out whether this person is being genuine to you don't get into such personal readings if it's a new relationship you need to go with the flow you need to have that unpredictability flowing in the relationship otherwise it creates resistance and the person is going to leave you then otherwise right so <clears throat> be passionate accept embrace be happy see okay don't close your eyes don't ignore the red flags but experience everything okay so a new beginning is coming into your life gemini if i am not right <laughs> i'm not right if i am right do like this video okay light and love so i'm blessing you through the universe through the spirits through the guides through the angels i'm just a medium i'm giving you this love and light through the universe May you be blessed with everything that you want that is special, okay? You will definitely lead towards your life purpose. You will find peace. You will find harmony in this beautiful relationship coming for you. So get ready. There's a change coming in. Anything else for my Geminians? Accept. So this is some biggest message here. See, it's an oracle card, but... I know you people are fond of more tarot than oracle but there is something like there is a synchronicity over here the major message that i'm seeing in this read is accept something that is not working out in your favor accept and you must be ready to let go immediately you must have a switch button okay something that you can't change accept and move on then we have an awakening. You've become more mature of dealing with things the right way. You have awakened your soul. You're becoming uh, 
you you know you have a new way of lifestyle you have a new way of dealing with things you started to see things in a much clearer perspective and you know exactly what kind of a person you're looking for so it's like you've gone through the soul awakening in this past uh few months that is why you feel much more at peace sometimes when we go through spiritual awakening we deal with anxiety i have dealt with that when i was going through it i have dealt with anxiety so if you're going through anxiety is just a phase of your life where you're changing where you're accepting where you're not the same where there's a shift coming into your life so accept it embrace that feeling it's not going to be permanent thing it's going to really sometimes you know what anxiety is a sign of intelligence if you're anxious about things that means you're very intelligent okay so there's nothing wrong in it you're also anxious about ending things or losing something let it go accept what it is be generous of spirit there's one thing how you can heal yourself is becoming more generous and giving towards others the more you give towards other it's going to come back to you 10 times so always uh you know appreciate the law of exchange of energy giving and receiving something that's very important trust i'm seeing gemini universe wants you to trust in it that something big is coming and you must not hold on to things that give you anxiety and stress and if there's something that you're going through that you can't work on or you can't change if there's some anxious feelings and you can't change those feelings that's a part of your journey and you don't have to be ashamed or embarrassed of it you don't have to change it you just go with the flow it's going to go soon okay the anxiety will go Gemini spiritual protection see you're being spiritually protected by the angels and as i told you you're going through some spiritual awakening and you're becoming more mature and you're living in the 5D realm now you've started to understand things way beyond practical things practical life which usually people you know go and believe in bring love into the situation you know that everything works under one vibration which is the highest vibration that is love so if you give love you will get it more love in the form of money love in the form of love love in the form of whatever you can ask for so love is abundance love is another name for abundance so bring love into the situation any situation give love you'll get it 10 times more then i'm also seeing you dealing with an aquarius but here there's a new love coming in but if you're scared of losing something to have a new beginning accept this change because that thing is not meant to be in your life if you're scared of losing something okay if something is going from your life let it go because if you don't let it go you may not meet someone new you may not allow new things to come into your life you may not allow new energy to pop in so it's important that you release what is not meant for you some things need to go okay you can't be the winner of each and everything in your life some of you 27 in age may be dealing with another gemini sagittarius or aquarius these are some signs that you might be dealing with okay now i'm going to do from aries to pisces what does your person feel about you gemini aries to pisces please Aries is like waiting on you. This person is about to make a move towards you. They're planning, they're strategizing, they're going to be traveling towards you. Taurus is thinking about major commitment, deep commitment, like having a family with you. The Gemini is I feel like the Gemini feels that their work is done, they have to go or this is you that's releasing something from the past. <clears throat> Cancer ending this, moving on. Then we have you might have cancer in your chart somewhere leo is thinking about deep love commitment family building a family with you they're very happy with you virgo is stressing out because you might not be talking to them they're going through anxieties libra feels blocked they feel like you don't want them and they're not feeling very confident about themselves they're going through a lot a lot of learning scorpio is still thinking about you they think that things can definitely get better they're still going to try to get you back in their life or to get you in their life this is a new one sagittarius sees you as a new like beginning they feel they want to lay a solid foundation with you 
Capricorn is very attracted to you as a person who you are. This person thinks that they've never seen someone like you. They want to be a part of your life. They want to date you. They want to ask you out. They're very excited. They want to have fun with you as well. Aquarius wants to take it slow, extremely mature, wants to take one step at a time because this person doesn't want to ruin this uh, excitement that they have towards you. Okay, they want to lay a solid foundation here. Pisces, even though they're working hard, they're still thinking about you. You might feel like this person is too busy, but whenever they're working, they're still thinking about you. So it's like they're giving you mixed signs. I'm also seeing that Pisces needs to make efforts. They will. Someone is in law. Your person may be in law. Yeah. I feel like your person from the past may try to interfere between you and your person that you will be dating next. They may create this situation where a love triangle may form and you may find it really difficult to release this past person. So make sure that you're not having anything from the past still hung up on you. And maybe for some of you, there's a law involvement or the past is trying to come back in your life by creating uh, law related uh, issues or challenges learn to say no that's very clear like how can you release this person just say no that's it someone's name is C celine or cecilia or well, these are some name letters cincinnati someone lives there I'm also seeing night, night time, something to do with night life. You, you guys will have a lot of fun. California is also what I'm seeing. Uh, yes, you guys are going to party a lot. So I'm seeing this is a time for you to party and have fun and celebrate. Stop thinking about love too much. It's going to happen on its own. Right now, I wish you all the best. Do enjoy the New Year's and Christmas. And I'll see you again with more readings like this. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, claim it and comment down below, share it, hit the notification bell. I'll see you again. Bye. Take care. Love you all.